Hey guys, I wanted to share this book with you today. It's called Hand Lettering for Relaxation. Now this book is filled with um, lots of different fonts and how to do them. But what makes this book so great is that it also includes how to doodle, how to doodle around your lettering to make your lettering really stand out. These doodles included in this book are fun, they're creative, there's tons of them. There's, this book is just filled with um, ideas. So I'm gonna do a flip through so you guys can see what's inside. All right, first I wanna show you just how thick this book is. This is a really big book. All right, let's, let's thumb through it. Okay, first you get this pretty pink inside cover. All right, now hand lettering for relaxation. This is by Amy Lotta. Okay. Now first it starts off with a little introduction and it tells you, you know, the supplies you're going to need. Then it starts off with easy calligraphy. And then it gives you lots of space to work in this book. Now, I am not going to write in my book. I never write in my books. I'll use a, um, a plain piece of paper to practice on um, for the letterings and things like that. I like to keep my books clean, nothing in them. So that's how I'm personally going to use mine. But they show, uh, they have really great um, spaces for you to practice on and they have little borders and you can actually the paper is super thick I could even imagine you doing little watercolor in this um, no problem I think it would totally hold up so that's fun too and see they even teach you step by step how to do this little vine how to create this little border um, to bracket your um, your letters your um, fonts and there's tons of doodle work everywhere, all in this book. And they teach you how to make a simple wreath, lots of practice space, some how to make banners, more practice space. It's really great practice space too because it's super cute. And I'll just flip through so you guys can see. There's so many different fonts in here. How to do swirls. How to add arrows and then they show you how to create the arrows. How to do these cute little flowers. They, these cute little flowers are so super simple to make and they show you step by step how to do it. And, how to add the leaves and the um and the little viney things they have there. They give you so many really great border ideas that you can create yourself and, and add to whatever you want. Really great. How to do this. This is really great. How to do the ribbon work. I mean, once you learn step by step how the ribbon is created, you can add this to anything. And how to do little banners right here little pendants and this is so great I love this this is so easy to do and it looks beautiful okay how to do your big and bold fonts how to blend your colors I wish you guys could feel this paper is so super thick this is really, this book is high quality. I, I really am impressed with this book. Love this. How to do frames. Look at these cute frames. This is a really cute idea too with the coffee and the little coffee beans. See there, I just love the space that they do give you if you're going to work in the book. It's just cute. See, it's just really cute. I'm very impressed with the amount of fonts in this book. There is a lot of fonts in this book. There's so many lessons in here on how to do this and how to do that and 
um, design techniques and how to um, uh, you know combine things together it's just really really great I'm gonna leave a link to this book below so if you guys are interested um, you'll know where to get it but I looked at a lot of books on lettering before I bought this one and this one I was the most impressed with if you guys have a book on lettering that you just love and you think is fabulous, um, share that with me below. So I'd like to look at it too, but this is the best one I found. How to create negative space, the basics of design, I'm kind of going fast because this is a big book and I, I wanted to show you guys everything. You know, this is a simple watercolor technique. Let me show you how to do it. And this is using masking fluid um, with your calligraphy pen or brush and then painting over it. And then when you take the masking fluid off, you have the negative space and it's cute. So they show you how to do that, how to make the confetti, the colors how to make ribbons, ribbons and bows, elongated alphabet, how to do that. This is so cute. This reminds me of a stamp from Dilusions by um, uh, Diane, Week, uh, Diane Reevely. Yeah, that's her name. Uh, she has a stamp very similar to this, and that's, the, that's what this reminds me of, and I love that. This is great how it shows you how to make the, the little funny borders around the letters like that. How to overlay one uh, font over another. Art Deco Alphabet. I love this, adding a little vine to your letters. Super cute. Now the lessons are very short but they're easy to understand because you I mean it's not that complicated but uh, but I love how it, it just simplifies things this is cute cute little fun font this is how to do the um, feathers and it takes you step by step how to create it it's just filled this book is filled with not just border ideas but um, just doodling and, and how to do it. So I think that's great. I mean, it's just super pretty. How to do a leaf. And how to do little trees. This is fun. How to fill in letters with like a a quilt, a quilted look, and it shows you different patterns to use. We're getting towards the end. We're almost done. Oh, and there's the author. This is Amy Lotta. And that's the book. This is a great book. I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun, and I, I'm actually impressed with just how many fonts they teach you in this book. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later. Bye!